Welcome back. In this video, we will not create a project in Power BI Desktop. We will work on big data this time. Well, big data in our case is actually just a single CSV file with two columns. But each column has more than 77 million rows. And by that, we have a total file size of 1.8 gigabytes, which is quite big actually. So we will connect Power BI Desktop to this source file, then aggregate the data, so reduce the rows basically, and finally export that data as a CSV file, so create a new source file actually. Now before we start, one quick note. I'm aware that normally you don't do this in Power BI Desktop, because there are better tools available on the market for purposes like that. Nevertheless, in case you only can use Power BI Desktop and you have to do things like that, I just want to show you that it is possible. Now, having said that, let's start. So this is the new Power BI Desktop file I created and that I already connected to three different source files. Three source files? I talked about one, right? Yes, but we have data for the New York City yellow caps in here. So in the first query, you can see the data for the second half of 2014. So we have each day of that second half, we have the sum of the rights of that day, and we have the sum of the fare paid at that day. So we have the same thing for the first half of 2015, but for the rights only, as you can see right here. So this is the second query that we have. And now the third query, this is the one I talked about in the beginning, and this is that big source file. And as you can see, we don't have daily data in here. Well, we have daily data, right? But data for each day and each single ride that took place. So we have, as I said, more than 77 million rows in here. And what we want to do is, we want to aggregate that information to daily data only. And to do this, we need a function in Power BI Desktop. But before we start, let's first format that first column differently because we only need the actual date and not the time. So to change this, we simply go to the transform ribbon right here. Now go to data type right here and select date. Now as Power BI already changed the format when we connected it to the source file, we shouldn't press replace current right here, but add new step. So that new formatting right now. If we do this, we can see that we now only have the dates in that first column. But why was that important? Well, as I said, I want to aggregate the data. And to do this, we again go to the transform ribbon right here. And now select the group by function right there. And this now allows us to group, and by that to aggregate the data, depending on a column that we select. In our case, we simply select the first column, so the pickup date time column right here, where we now have that daily data actually, and now each time Power BI finds an equal date in that column, it will simply aggregate that. Now this is good, but we shouldn't forget about the second column, that fair amount right here. Because this should also be aggregated to each single day, but we have to specify how exactly this aggregation or that grouping should be done. To do this, we simply can go to that part right here, First, define a new column name, which would be fair in our case, like this. And now the operation shouldn't be count rows, it should be the sum, so that we retrieve the sum of the total fare paid at the corresponding day. So we select sum right here, and now we have to change the column from the date time to the fair amount, of course. And this is it. If we now press OK, this is going to take a while, of course, because Power BI will now scan through the entire source file with that 1.8 gigabytes. So we'll see each other as soon as this is finished. And this is it. Well, to be honest, this took quite a while. But the great thing is that we now have the data the way we want it to be. So we now have daily data in that first column, you can see that. And in the second column, we have the sum of the fares of that corresponding days. So this is really good, but there is one thing that is not so good right here. Power BI is still connected to that initial source file, so that 1.8 gigabyte file. So whenever it scans through that file again, it will take a long time. So we should avoid that, 
And to do this, we will now simply load this data we have right here, so these queries with that clean tables, into our actual data model, and then export the data out of the data model into a new CSV file, which will then become our new source file. Now let's load the data into the model first by going to the home ribbon right here and pressing close and apply, like this. And again, this will take a few minutes, so see you again when this is done. And now this is done, and the great thing now is that if we change to the data view right here, and open our 2015 FAIRS file right there, then you can see that the format is not good of course, but this is something we don't have to take care about right now, but you can see that we only have that 181 rows in here, in the data model, as you can see right there. So what we can do right now is, we can export that data. The problem is that we cannot do it with Power BI Desktop. The good thing is, there is a separate tool to do this. Let's take a look at that tool. And this tool is called DAX Studio. You can find it right here. And DAX Studio simply will allow us to query data out of Power BI. So out of the data model that we just saw. And this means we can retrieve the data from the table that we just created. So if we now press download right here, and then open DAX Studio right there. Then we can see that we have that connect window that opens. In that connect window, we can simply select the second option right here. And here we can see that we now have our Power BI file, so this group file. Let's select that and press connect. And now you can already see right here that we have our three tables in there. And these are the data of the actual data model, not of the queries or of the initial source file. That's important to know. If we want to get that data now, we simply go to this window, write evaluate, like this, so we can select it right here with the arrow keys on the keyboard, press tab, now a space, well, and now simply type taxi, and we can already see that we can now select our fair data right here, and press tab again, and if we now press F5 on the keyboard, like this, then it will query our data. And you can see again that it queried the data of the data model, as I just said. Now we have that data in here, but we want to export it as a CSV. To do this, we simply click Output right here and select File, like that. Now we need to press F5 again to run the query like this. And as you can see, we can now define a name for that new file. Let's maybe call it 2015 new, just to know that this is the new CSV file. And now change the text format right here to the CSV format right there, like this. And here you can see our other input files, by the way, so we are in the right folder. And now we simply press save, like this. And we now save the file. So if we now go back to Power BI Desktop, so here I am in the data model, and open the query editor, like this. And now go to our data sources, right here, select a CSV file. So here I am now again in that source folder, and here you can see our 2015 new file that we just created. So let's select that and press open. And this is fine, so we can press OK right here. And as you can see, if we now simply change the format again of that first column by going to the transform ribbon, go to data type and change it to date and add the new step, then we see that we again have our 181 rows, but now with that connection to that cleaned and small source file. And this will make the work in our query editor a lot easier right now. And this is it actually. This is what I wanted to show you. And as I said in the beginning, Power BI Desktop is probably not the best tool to work with such huge source data. However, depending on the performance of your computer, you can do things like that if you want to do it. And in combination with Text Studio, you can also easily extract that new information and by that create cleaned and smaller source files. So this is it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos. Bye bye.
Maybe some documentaries would, would be some something for us. Like birds. In the, in, or in the nature. Yeah. Like this jungle feeling. Yeah.